Speaking at a rally in California, Bernie Sanders reacted with optimism to the news by the Associated Press that his rival Hillary Clinton has the commitments necessary to become the Democratic Party's presumptive nominee. If there is a large voter turnout, if working people and young people come out in big numbers to demand a government that represents all of us and not just the 1%, we're going to win big tomorrow. Clinton also responded on Twitter, thanking the Associated Press, but still encouraging voters to cast their ballots. Shortly after, she appeared on live television to acknowledge her achievement as the first woman to become a presidential nominee for a major U.S. political party. I think that uh, it will be a great moment. Um, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want everybody who can to vote tomorrow in all of the states that are holding uh, primaries. Uh, but it is historic, and I'm aware of that. I take that responsibility seriously. I'll have more to say about it. Uh, but I think it's going to be a very positive development, uh, not just for little girls and women, but for little boys and men, uh, because I'm running to be president for every single American. Clinton is reported to have clinched the nomination with the help of Democratic Party elites known as superdelegates. They won't even vote until the party's convention in July. Still, Clinton supporters like Tina Robinson say it's time for rival Bernie Sanders to drop out of the race. He's fought a good fight, but Hillary, she, she's going to win. She has to win, and he needs to know that Hillary is the best candidate for the job. So hopefully he will give up. But Sanders supporters say that's the last thing they want their candidate to do and are pushing for Sanders to stay in and contest Clinton's candidacy. Many believe a Sanders win in Tuesday's California primary is critical. For him and for us as a campaign, the important part right now is that we have, you know, 400 and what, 75 delegates here in California that are at play that can literally turn the election around, that we can actually, you know, win enough delegates, pledge delegates, that we're going to be really in, in, in a con contested convention. This political analyst says both presidential candidates must work to unite a fractured Democratic Party. There's going to be a battle at the convention, mostly over the platform. I think it would be wise for uh, Bernie Sanders to, to try to moderate the protests uh, that his supporters might try to, uh, uh, to, to begin at the, at the convention and keep the protest on policy. It will be a challenge. More than a quarter of Sanders supporters say if Clinton is the Democratic presidential nominee in November's general election, it's unlikely they'll even vote. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Los Angeles, California.